Shubha Navratri to all our Mishti members. Today we're going to narrate the day eight story of our Navratri series of stories. I hope you're enjoying our stories. If you like them, please subscribe and like our channel. Also share it with your friends and family as it will help us create more stories like this. The day eight, we worship Maha Gauri. It's an Ashtami day and it's a very auspicious day as we enter the third day of Durga festival. There are two versions of this story. Maha means great and Gauri is an epitome of beauty. So Maha Gauri is the most beautiful form of Goddess Durga. The first version of the story says when Parvati was born as Kala Ratri to kill the demons Shumba and Nishumba who were creating havoc on earth, she was made dark skinned by Shiva so she could kill these demons. After she finished killing these demons, she was very pale and she still had a dark skin which she could never get rid of. She did a penance to Brahma and asked him to help him to get away with his dark skin. Brahma was very pleased with her and she asked him to her to bathe in Manasarovar. Once Goddess Parvat, Parvati went into the Manasarovar, her dark skin separated from, from her and she took a female form. And that form was called as Kaushiki, who later went on to slay more demons. And the Goddess Parvati's form was very white in complexion and she got to be called as Mahagauri. The second version of the story is as Goddess Gauri performed severe penance to attain Lord Shiva as her husband, she went into this penance for thousands of years. As she performed this penance for many years, due to this lot of dust settled on her skin and making her appear black. Lord Shiva was pleased with her penance and blessed her with the promise of marriage. And then he took the sacred water of the river Ganga, which was used to wash the soil and dust from Goddess Parvati, turning her skin white. And she came to be known as Maha Gauri. So the most important learning from this is the beauty of Maha Gauri is more internal than external. She is an epitome of beauty externally as well internally and she is the most giving goddess and Devi Mahagauri gives blessings for people who seek for material gains so that you become content from within and you move forward in life. She is also the one who gives you knowledge and makes you move in life and liberate you. So that is the most important aspect of Mahagauri. It is the epitome of beauty and the epitome of internal beauty. When we are beautiful internally and we have, if we have fought our demons internally, then we reflect that externally as well. Wish you all a very happy or Shubha Navratri from Team Mishti. Subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and families. We're going to come into day 9 and then into Vijaya Dashmi where there are some very interesting stories to follow.